media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Japan headquartered pneumatics company SMC Pneumatics launched its South African office in Madran last month, cementing its presence in 84 countries and creating a distribution and manufacturing center to extend its service offering for other African clients. Dylan Slater tells us more. Boasting a floor area of 4,317 square metres, SMC Pneumatic's new local office has a fully functional showroom and a warehouse for the distribution of its products and also serving as a manufacturing plant for other selected items. The company offers more than 12,000 basic components in over 700,000 variant forms. SMC Pneumatic South Africa director Steve Bangs explains the investment in South Africa. South Africa is, is the last continent that SMC needed to come into to complete the global picture. We are already present in 82 different countries around the world. Big advantage to the customers that we supply are that they're truly global and, and we also are a truly global company. So we needed to come here. The investment we've made, initially we're leasing this building for five years. The intention is that during that five years we'll find some land and we'll build uh, our own facility. It's always uh, difficult when you first come into an area to decide whether the building needs to be how big or, what, or, or where. We're very comfortable with, it, with the location and I think the size is about right. So now we need to start looking at uh, building some land. Over the next uh, two or three years, the investment we've made so far is around 125 million rand and, uh, and we'll be continuing to invest as we understand them the customers' needs and, and what we need to meet them. SMC Pneumatic South Africa has invested heavily in the local markets with production lines being equipped with the latest technology. This stands to increase the company's turnaround times in getting products to customers and enhances relations with Africa-based clients. SMC has a, has a very different way of, of reaching its customers and touching its customers. Uh, our products are the most advanced in the world. Um, we like to work with customers very early in a development phase so that we can offer the, the best cost-effective and fit-for-purpose solutions to their problems. For end users, people that are using our products in their production process, there's a lot of product development gone into energy saving, uh, using less electricity, using less compressed air to achieve the same, the same goals. We differ again from our competitors in that we like to have face-to-face -face contact with the customers. So we invest heavily in outside sales. In the globe, we have 8,000 salespeople out of a total workforce of 17,500. So almost half the workforce in the, co in the corporation is, is in outside sales, so we can get that, that closeness with the customer. SMC Pneumatic South Africa will manufacture certain products locally, while also relying on its international manufacturing facilities to fill the void in terms of providing the remaining range of products to the local market. The products that we supply fall, fall basically into two categories. There are what I would call the, the standard products that are easy to stock, to keep on the shelf. Uh, those products will be kept here uh, in volume and supplied uh, and replenished either out of our central warehouse in Antwerp or from Japan itself. It's pretty much equidistant from here to Japan and then here to Antwerp. So whichever is the best location, we'll, we'll ship it in from there. The products we're going to make um, are the variable products. If you're looking at some of our products, they vary in stroke, they vary in, in, in length. Um, there's local assemblies that people like us to do, control systems, all of that will be done here. Initially, we're focusing on actuators and, and valve manifolds and control systems, but we'll develop it from that as, as we again understand the customer's needs and requirements. Other news making headlines this week, technical team set up to craft post-2020 automotive master plan and South Africa's economy is at a crossroads. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies has formally announced the establishment of a team of technical experts to develop a post-2020 automotive master plan. The DTI has established a team of technical experts to develop a post-2020 automotive master plan. The technical team is led by Professors Justin Barnes and Anthony Black and includes a range of other industry and industrial policy experts from B&M analysts, trade and industrial policy services tips, and senior staff at the DTI. The mandate of the team is to examine the entire automotive sector, and not just the existing APDP, Automotive, Poli uh, automotive uh, Production Development Plan, which means that it will now include light, medium and heavy vehicles, as well as motorcycles. 
2015 World Competitiveness Report ranks South Africa's economy 53rd out of 63, indicating that the country's economy remained a significant player in the global economy. What about South Africa against that, you know, fairly tough global environment? Well, there are five flags which are uh, South African clients of race with us. The first is corruption, which, you know, has changed the game and, of course, has meant that uh, a lot of contracts are going to connected uh, companies as opposed to companies that offer the best price or actually have the uh, skills. The second flag is around quality of infrastructure, which is related to the first flag. But obviously, the flag is, is it improving? Because for a platform, for a, an economy to grow at 3 to 5% per annum, you need a sound infrastructure. The third flag is around leadership and whether it's becoming more inclusive so that we work together as a team or whether we're becoming more divided as a nation. I have to say Nelson Mandela was brilliant at leading this country, but unfortunately his two successes haven't come close and we're a pretty divided nation at the moment. The next generation to bring this country together will be the younger generation. We've moved past the struggle now, it's the next generation that is going to um, really uh, offer a positive prospect for this flag. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.